Okay, Nocturnal, who I am hoping to feed later on tonight. She has been a lot more active, which is having me inclined to believe she is hungry. I know it's a bit of a mistake to handle her before I feed her. However, I need to clean the enclosures anyway, so it's just sort of a... I don't know, worst case scenario, I wait later on tonight or try feeding her tomorrow. She has calmed down quite quickly. However, not in the sense that Erwin has calmed down. Erwin, I was afraid, I was not afraid, I should say. Erwin was always trying to strike at me. Nocturnal, I would rather she try to strike at me. Because what she do instead, bear in mind the last few times I've handled her, she stopped doing this. She will make a very very bad mess. Basically she will try basically she will musk. And I have never worked with a Python species that must. And even Batman, who I will be taking out next, never must. He just strike and bluff strike. Or hiss and bluff strike, I should say. Nocturnal, the first few times I'd handled her, I knew she was going to musk because her, um, Let's just say her cloacal vent, you could visibly tell she was trying to do something. However, the last quite a number of times actually where I've attempted, where I've ha not attempted to handle her, I should say, have handled her, she hasn't even had the, um, basically nothing was sticking out from her cloaca. So I'm thinking she's finally settled down. Well, I shouldn't even say finally settled down. It's been a, sh compared to Erwin, it's been a short little while. Still obviously very small. Has eaten for me once, so I'm not too concerned. If you remember, Erwin ate for me once and then it took him forever to eat and now he's eating regularly. Worst case scenario, I am hoping that's what happens with Nocturnal. She's not visibly starving, but, you know, new snake, only fed frozen sod once, you know. You get paranoid, you get, what am I doing wrong, what's going on? doing very well, not concerned with her biting, beautiful snake, absolutely love her, it's gonna be a while before I start breeding, if for no other reasons, and I, I honestly do like to get all my snakes as young as possible, even if that means I get some young and nippy. That way I can work with them, I can develop a bond much quicker. For those of you watching this going, what are you talking about? Snakes and reptiles don't develop a bond. Um, I know damn well I'm not going to convince people that they do. They do. It's hard to describe, and it's by no means a bond that is as visible as with, say, a 
dog or a cat, but it is definitely there. It is definitely there. Best way I can describe it, and I don't care if anyone agrees with me or disagrees with me, is they love you in their own unique way. You just kind of have to understand it. And I think the reason I understand it is they love in the way I prefer to be loved. And I love others. Um, kind of at a distance. Essentially, uh, this is more me than the snakes, but essentially, uh, if you're going to love me, leave me alone. Sort of a love me over there. No, don't, don't bombard me with affection. I can't stand that. Don't constantly come up and ask how I'm doing. I am doing quite well. However, if you do constantly come up and ask how I'm doing, I am not going to be doing well because they're going to be a problem. Snakes are very similar to that. Now they all have their unique personalities, but I will tell you right now that every snake I have ever had, every lizard I have ever had, We have all shared that common bond. It's just unique for every creature. And this one, this one I am slowly but surely developing that bond and connection with. If you're going to leave hate comments, by all means, go ahead. I personally do not care. Actually, no, 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 no. That's a bit of a lie. I don't care in the fact that you are going to offend me. I care in the fact that I honestly find it very amusing. To sum up, if you are going at thinking of leaving hate comments or you're wrong or blah, 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 blah. If it makes you feel better, do it. Know that it's not going to have any effect on me negatively in the slightest. I am just going to go, uh, how amusing and be entertained. <laughs> She is doing quite well. Unfortunately, it is getting dark in here. So the photo I am going to post, I did not post a photo of Sheila on Instagram. By the way, I want to get her fed as soon as possible. But yeah, she's doing well. She's doing lovely. Slowly starting to realize that I am not a threat and a possible friend. Definitely towards a possible friend and yes, she's still not quite certain. So yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and bye.